today we are going to discuss uh, general ledger in in general ledger you can say there are three work areas general accounting dashboard journals and period queues so each of these work areas is uh, for a specific purpose like for example from general accounting dashboard you can view your gl balances you can uh, view your account monitors your account inspector and a lot other activities from journals you can create your journals you can manage journals you can create journals and spreadsheets as well as you know you can perform different activities like for example posting your journals or reversing your journals from the period close work area you can perform activities which are related to your period close like for example you can do revaluation you can do translation you can uh, maintain your daily rates as well as there is a section called as the close monitor which is specifically used for month end activities so let us take the first uh, work area which is your general accounting dashboard and have a look at what are the different tasks that we have under it so these are the uh, so this is the general accounting dashboard and uh, this is what we call the account monitor so account monitor gives you a snapshot of uh, the gl balances using the different chart of account segments as the different dimensions and it also helps you to compare between the different periods so for example if i if i want to select here the current period which is may 22 then i can actually get a comparison of the may and the april balances for these values of my chart of account segments and it will also show you what is the change from april to may that is from a current period to a prior period comparison that is available here and the percentage also you can see here setting this account monitor is fairly easy uh, there is something called account group and in the account group you have you have to search using the name as test so from account group you can try to edit this so this is the account group that we have which is called test and here what we have provided in the selection criteria is that legal entity we have selected that all the legal entity values will be used cc all the cc values will be used for the chart of accounts for product and for intercompany also all the respective segment values will be used for account i have provided a specific account so this is in fact a parent account and when i select the parent account in this account group all the child values under this parent will be included when i want to see the balances and if required i could have added multiple lines here like you know if i want to view some kind of a uh, of a profit and loss uh, statement okay so in that case i would include in my first line all my revenue accounts and in my second line i can include all my expense accounts so that when i will open my account group and the in the general accountant dashboard i get a snapshot of my total pnl this is something that you can specify here like comparison option what we have mentioned here is the prior period pgd so i could have selected prior year pgd also i could have selected prior year qtd or i could have done an actual versus a budget kind of comparison so all these options are available here since i have made this public this particular account group anyone can view across the organization if i wanted to keep it only to myself i would have kept the access as private so now what we will do we will further drill down from the account group and see what are the accounts that have been used to pull the gl balances so here i can actually drill down from the balances if i click on the balances it will take me to a page from where i can view that what all account combinations 
are used for this balance so when i clicked on that amount link now it has taken me to the inquire on detail balances page where i can see that what are the distinct combinations that have been used so here we have like for this combination we have a period activity of 30 negative and then for this combination we have a period activity of 348 so this when i selected you know code triple zero double zero in my uh in 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 my query all the child values that it has that is all the accounts which are starting with four these are all the child values so all these child values have already been in, been included here if required i could further drill down from here and i could actually go to the transaction level and see from which transactions my gl period activity has been hit so it provides you a complete drill down from gl to your individual transaction and this is extremely helpful for reporting another uh, feature of account group uh, that we can also use is that in our case in our example we have said that this account group will be split always so we could also build a rule so that this account group will be visible on the dashboard only if there is a specific change only if there is a specific percentage change like for example i can say that if my prior period to my current period variance is more than 50 percent then only it should be displayed on this dashboard so that kind of a rule also i can create so that only in those cases where the difference is 50 percent or more those will appear in the dashboard whenever it is less than 15 percent those will not appear here in addition to uh, ledger currency i could also uh, select usd so this is usually used when we have a reporting currency ledger like for example if we have a journal or a sub ledger level reporting currency as well as if we have a balance level reporting currency we need to do translation and after we do translation if i select usd then my balances in usd will appear here these are the translated balances so in addition to this we can do a lot of other activities like another another window that i would like to show you there are two actually one is inquire and analyze balances the second is inquire on detail balances inquire on detail balances page we just uh, saw like when we drilled down from the account group from the account monitor here what we can do we can select specific periods uh, from period uh, to period and we can select a range of accounts for which the balances need to be displayed so for example here uh, for my le i could select all le values or i could select some specific le values for cc which is my cost center i can select all cost center values i can select specific cost center values similarly for all the other chart of account uh, segments also we can specify what are the values that we need to select and once we are done selecting and we click on search it will show us all the combinations that have generated the gl balances for april and may we can take an export to excel from here and we could view it in excel or uh, we can scroll down here and we can see the exact balances that we have for those periods so this is the inquire on detail balances there is another feature which is inquire and analyze balances so this is basically a part of your account inspector which is uh, which provides you a different kind of a ui from where you can slice and dice uh, your balances and you can view your gl balances in different ways so if you if you if you uh, want to view let's say your segment 2 as well as your segment 3 or you know you want to put different uh, periods here like for example if you want to put a period here that also you can do so currently here what i am showing is that in my columns it is my period and in my rows it is currently the gl that i am seeing here so this again this is the parent value if i click on this i will get the child values so here i will have to select the context like for example uh, for GL, uh, for, for LE, I am selecting all the LEs. For cost centers, I am selecting all the cost centers. 
similarly for products and IC also I'm selecting all the values but now let me change uh, and uh, uh, I, I will use the ledger as XYZ ledger scenario I'm using actual balance amount I will use period activity because I want to see only the period activity for uh, these uh, balances currency I'm going to use as euro which is my functional currency currency type is total an amount type uh, I will select period here period debit credit which is your period to date so I will select this and I will click on refresh So July, I don't have any transactions yet. That's why it is showing as zero. So in that case, what I can do, I need to change the period. So what I will do here, let me drag this field from here, from my page level dimensions to my column. And then I will drag the accounting period from my account inspector window to my page level dimensions. And then what I can do, I can change the accounting period here. I will change the accounting period from May to April and I will do a refresh. So whenever I do a refresh, the balances have been populated. On clicking on the parent level values, we can see the drill down at the child level. And if I click on these balances, I can further go down to the transaction level. If I click on the period activity, it will take me to the transactions. So these are the journal lines. And then I can see that this has come from assets. So if I click on the debit or the credit lines, it will take me to the particular asset from which these journal lines have been posted to GL. So these are the asset numbers.